What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Redemption with Jaden. We are doing a little bit of a different video this week, although it's a type of video I've done a little bit more recently, at least one other time recently. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a deck building video, and this is going to be one where I'm building a deck with certain parameters, which you may have guessed from the title that this is going to be a Bible deck. Now, what does that mean, you might ask? Well, if you've paid attention on the, the Discord, you may have uh, seen this already, but uh, I will explain. So recently, in like just this uh, this season, we got a new state promo called Banner of Love, and this is the first Song of Solomon card in rotation, which means that now we have the 66 books of the Bible all represented by at least one card in rotation, and that gives us the ability, I guess, to make a deck with one of... At or at, at least one card from every single book of the Bible, and the way that I'm going to build this deck is to do one with exactly one card from each book of the Bible, and that's uh, you know maybe we'll uh, maybe that won't be exactly true because there are some dual reference cards or dual testament cards primarily where they have a reference uh, both in you know, uh, an Old Testament passage and a New Testament one. So, like, the humble lost soul has a Hebrew, uh, sorry, Proverbs and James. I'm trying to remember where the, the Old Testament was. I was thinking Hebrews for some reason. Uh, Proverbs and James reference. And so, it, it, I'm going to build under the, uh, the idea, I guess, that it can be used as either a Proverbs or James card. It could count for either book, and then I would still need one from the other book. So if I've got a Proverbs card, I can still use Humble, and just means I can't have another James card. I don't know if I'll actually end up using any dual testament or dual reference uh, cards, but that's just the, the rules I'm, I'm giving myself. A little bit of a disclaimer, I got about 20 minutes into recording this uh, the first time, and then I realized that my microphone settings were not set up right for some reason. I don't know how they got uh, changed or, or messed up on my OBS, but uh, uh, it was just me going like this. And then, you know, there was, there was, it, it, it doesn't make for a very entertaining video when you can't hear what I'm saying. Uh, or maybe some of you are entertained by that, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I would find that boring. A uh, little hard to follow, so <laughs> what I did though is I kept my progress on the deck. As you can see, I've already got six cards in here, including Banner of Love, which is the, the I think it's the only auto-include. I'm not positive on that, but um, I, I think it's, it, there might be a couple other cards that are the only one from their books, like maybe Second Thessalonians or Third John or something like that, but uh, that is what I'm starting with as far, or that's, that was kind of the baseline I was starting with, and then I started going through the books. I'll, I'll show you. I'm actually doing this on a, uh, from a spreadsheet instead of just on Lackey, because it's a little harder to sort by the reference and, and whatnot. Uh, you, you can do it on Lackey, but there's just like, is it I Samuel or one Samuel for first Samuel? You know, it's, it's, uh, Lackey isn't the most consistent with that, whereas Chris's spreadsheet is pretty good. So that's what I'm going to be using to keep track of things. Um, anyways, just before we dive into that, a little bit of an update on just other things. Wanted to give you some information regarding the Lackey Grand Prix that's still going on, but uh, you know, usually I've got Lackey Grand Prix content going on here. Um, I didn't get any videos or recordings of the Top Cut games uh, that, that happened this past week. Um, I frankly didn't reach out to any of the, the pairs of, of players to try to record because it was just a busy week and I didn't want to have to try to coordinate or make the players worry about uh, you know, coordinating three schedules instead of just two. So anyways, didn't get any of that. Uh, not sure if I will get the semifinal games or not either. Uh, but I think I will at least try to make sure that either myself or Babuni Tim or somebody you know, that records games uh, and, and releases them will record the, the finals match, which is either going to be between uh, him and Red Wing. Uh, well, it's, okay, it's going to be him or Red Wing uh, and Jeremy or Jay. Uh, the 
I am bred and, and flooded red, I guess I should, or rooted red, uh, I should, I should be consistent with how I'm naming them, whatever. Uh, a few J names. So the, the semifinals are Red Wing and him, and then I am bred and rooted red. Uh, the Chambers brothers, they have to be, they have to, uh, to, to duke it out and, We'll see if Jay can take the opportunity to to prove uh, that that he's the better Chambers brother. I don't know if we'll still believe him, but <laughs> uh, or or maybe at least you know have a a little uh, a little more of a convincing argument for that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe that will be an interesting game to record uh, if if somebody's able to or if, if they're able to and uh, can release it. Maybe you know do commentary or something. It'd be kind of fun. Do the brother battle. Anyways, so that is happening sometime this week, and that is, oh yeah, and, and the other thing are actual live tournaments are also happening, uh, the, I believe there are a couple this weekend, I think the Oregon State Tournament is happening this weekend, which I'm going to mention in a little bit, and then also the Iowa State Tournament is happening this Memorial Day weekend, uh, so that is actually going to be on Sunday night and Monday. Make sure that if you are not caught up with tournaments that you're looking on the Cactus Game Design website and uh, you know, also keeping an eye on the tournaments channel in Discord, but not all of the ones that are on the Cactus Game Design website are being mentioned on Discord. There's not you know, always an announcement there, so you do want to make sure you check that tournament schedule, especially as the state tournaments and regional tournaments are happening, just so that you know if there's a big tournament happening in your region, uh, that way you can you can hopefully make it. You could even get the fancy Banner of Love state promo featured here. And uh, yeah, that, that uh, make sure you know when your state tournament is, if your state has a tournament, and if it doesn't, you should figure out how to host tournaments and then you can, you can make that happen. So <laughs> reach out to people on Discord if you're interested in trying to do that. Uh, of course, before we dive into things, we're going to talk about our sponsors over here at Your Turn Games. They sponsor the channel. You can actually go over the here too for uh, redemption resources such as uh, upcoming tournaments which um, this is not completely up to date as of the recording of this video so there are a couple tournaments such as the uh, the Iowa State tournament happening uh, this this weekend right around here uh, that's not on uh, your turn games here yet but I'm sure Andy is working on Getting this updated on a semi-regular basis here, but as you can see, it's, there's a, a few tournaments that have already come and gone. Uh, but just know that this is here as a, a resource to check out. Uh, but you know, this time of the year, you might just want to go straight to Cactus Game Design just because you know the the big tournaments are are happening and being scheduled, and and maybe there's not quite enough uh, notice to always get it you know from on the Cactus website, and then Andy pull that onto your turn game. So just the most up-to-date information is going to be this Cactus game design, but I did want to point out that this is here as well on your turn games. Another thing on your turn games, I mentioned the Oregon State Tournament, and Chad made a little uh, blurb about that on Discord, and I wanted to just give a little shout out to that as well. Chad is doing a fundraiser for uh, some of his guys, uh, at least one, maybe two, depending on how the fundraiser goes, um, for some of the guys in his uh, group to go to nationals to support their, their or to, to fund their travel and uh, lodging expenses, just because uh, he, you know Chad's a, a youth pastor, youth director, leader, uh, youth pastor, I think is accurate, <laughs> uh, but he's got uh, some guys then in his play group but are also just you know part of his his youth ministry uh that are you know, they're more like teenagers and, and don't necessarily have the the means to you know, pay for plane tickets and then that kind of stuff especially go from oregon all the way to michigan so chad set up this fundraiser similar to the one he did last year to try to uh, help support getting them to nationals and he's actually using tournament results and you know including the, the state tournament is one of the big things as uh, kind of a qualifier for his guys to be able to go to nationals which uh, I think that's pretty cool of course nationals is an open tournament anyone can play you don't have to you know, play in to qualify or anything but uh, the way that Chad is doing it is uh, with his group specifically for the fundraiser is to uh, support the or to bring the the top one or two 
players that he has to get them to nationals. So you can check that out here on your turn games and then follow the link for more info, which will take you over here to the land of redemption, uh, which this is also a drawing uh, just to, to mention here. I guess uh, that might be important for some people and you know, it's, a, it's a good motivator to uh, for those of you who want to, to give. Uh, you can do that with uh, the uh, PayPal link or um, I guess email address that Chad has on here. And then by doing so, you'll be entered into a drawing to win some uh, fancy national promos here. Uh, Chad has pictured uh, the textless son of God plus uh, the other uh, promos from the 2023 national tournament. So you will win a set of those uh, if you are so fortunate to do so with this, uh, this drawing. So that is a pretty sweet deal that Chad's got going on to help support his guys. Really grateful for him and what he's doing out here in Oregon or out there in Oregon. I'm not in Oregon, um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're establishing a great play group over there in the Northwest. So uh, glad to see that. All right, so I mentioned that I was working off of the spreadsheet. Here's where I was here in Esther. Um, and I have another little spreadsheet here just with the list of books, just so I can keep track of uh, what's going on here. So for Amos, I did, let's go over here to Lackey, I did Day of the Lord. Uh, Day of the Lord and Amos are the two options, Amos the hero. Um, and I was kind of thinking that Day of the Lord is fairly flexible. It's got three brigades, so uh, this kind of deck is going to be very hard to get any like specific theme to work. Like you're not just going to be able to do one or probably even two themes uh, that are very like focused with a deck like this because a lot of the themes will be pulling from cards in the same books. And so to do one card for every book means that uh, our themes are going to be a little scattered, a little mishmashed here. Uh, and so I thought that Day of the Lord would probably be a good option there. But <clears throat> that said, Amos is a, a decent hero to be able to use. And I think there are certain themes or maybe certain brigades that will be a little bit easier to use. Uh, maybe like Clay is going to get a lot of our you know, kind of New Testament, like early church, uh, you know, like Paul's letters kind of books. And the uh, you know, green is another one that will be kind of spread out as sort of ubiquitous throughout the Bible because green kind of represents prophecy. Uh, silver maybe as well because there are you know, angels throughout several portions of the Bible. Uh, something like blue, on the other hand, probably won't get a whole lot of love in this deck because uh, it's kind of focused more on specific books like Genesis and Job. So that's kind of the the thinking here, Amos might actually fit in the deck later on, but for now I just put in Day of the Lord. Then uh, I went to Colossians. I'm kind of skipping the the books that have a lot. So like Acts comes before Amos here, but there are just so many options in Acts that I want to try to narrow it down with the cards that have fewer books. I think that's just kind of the or fewer cards in their book, uh, which I, I think is just an easier approach uh, to kind of get the, the shell of cards that are more limited and then work that out to, uh, or use that to determine what the best card from the bigger sets are going to be the kind of the more, or the, or the, the not sets, books <laughs> from the books that have the uh, most you know, or more cards available in them. So like Acts, and Daniel, uh, Deuteronomy has a bunch. So uh, I skipped over Acts. I'm leaving in the, the ones that have the, the dual reference in here, like I mentioned before, just so that it's easier to keep track of like what my options are. So like if I'm looking for a Galatians card or something and uh, I, I don't have this checked off yet, I want to know that my options aren't just in Galatians, but from here I can pretty easily see that I also have, uh, you know, Cursed of God as an option uh, up here with Deuteronomy and Galatians. Uh, so I, you know, copied this list, just pulled out all the unique ones. Um, I'm not going to do Josephus here, so I could actually just delete all of these rows. And uh, yeah, that's this is what I'm going to be working off of. Of course, I only need to to cross off, uh, you know, one of these here, but I could do both to to count for Galatians as well. Okay, so 
Uh, let's go back to Lackey, Fade Philosophy in Colossians. Got about 10 options in Colossians. And as I was looking through, I was like, and eh, there's not too many great options. Most of them are just like persecuted church cards that aren't super thrilling. Word of Christ is pretty decent, but uh, the top two for sure are going to be Vain Philosophy and Self. Self is a, a good you know, splash evil character that we got from Roots here. Um, it's got three different brigades, so uh, and it's fairly flexible, so I think that that would be a good option if we end up going in those brigades, but uh, I just figured that dominance are going to be like, we're going to try to want to use the, uh, we're going to want to use strong dominance, but kind of maybe like the strongest ones that don't limit our other options as much. So like figuring out which son of God to use is going to be kind of tricky because we've got books like Revelation, Luke, uh, Matthew, and Daniel, I believe are the only four that have a son of God printed in them. And so, or and all four of those are fairly full books. Uh, so picking a son of God from, from one of those books is going to uh, minimize the odds of, or minimize the uh, other options we have from, from each of those books, I guess. So that is going to be something the two consider kind of as we're going, like, do I really need three woes or is there something else in Revelation that I want? Three woes is probably the best card in Revelation, but you know, or I mean, outside of Son of God, of course, but it can do other books for that. Uh, but you know, is there something else in Revelation that would fit the deck better? Can I get away with you know using other dominance? So yeah, that's kind of the uh, things to consider here. Is why I went with Vain Philosophy for now. But if we want to come back to self, depending on what we find for the defense, then uh, or what we find for other dominance, then that's uh, what I thought might be a good way to go. Uh, so, as I mentioned with Daniel, that's pretty big. We might just end up taking Son of God from here, depending on what other stuff we can find, just because, like, lots of the Daniel stuff works well with other Daniel stuff. And so, just picking out one thing in Daniel, you know, maybe it's like Michael Chief Prince or just Daniel himself, because he works well with uh, Banner of Love. But I'm just going to skip that for now and come back later. I mentioned Deuteronomy. There's actually a pretty decent number of cards in Deuteronomy. Uh, lots of them are curses you know, from uh, Deuteronomy 28 when God's giving all the blessings for obedience and the curses for disobedience. Uh, that's where a lot of the, the curses in the game come from. And uh, we also have a few options for dominance. So doubt in Israel's rebellion. So like I mentioned, like decent dominance that don't take away too many other options are going to be high in... Uh, the priority here. Uh, of course, Israel's Rebellion is a little bit too narrow for uh, our, our purposes here, so Doubt might be the way to go, but we're also going to want some splash cards, some multi-brigade cards, so Doubt, uh, which, of course, working from the spreadsheet means that you guys aren't going to be able to read what, I've, uh, what I'm talking about here if you're not uh, familiar with the cards and what they do, but uh, yeah, so this is Doubt. Uh, might go in there, but for now, I actually just left Deuteronomy open, I uh, went on to Ecclesiastes, which has three options here. Um, it's the Fool Law Soul. Like, Law Souls are going to be kind of like Dominance, where we want good ones that don't limit too many other options. So Fool might be something that we come back to if I need some more Law Souls and I can't like justify taking out uh, other cards to get ones of certain books. So that's a possibility, but Not Alone is definitely one that stands out here as a very splashable card works well with a lot of different themes, so I think that that's uh, the one to go with for now. Uh, then I went to Ephesians, we've got 11 options. Um, oh, and if we, if we come back to Brown and Women in the Snares makes sense, then you know, I, can, I can do that too, but uh, I, I think Not Alone is, is solid uh, for to, to, to start out with. So uh, Then looking at Ephesians, yeah, there's 11 options, but a lot of them, well, half of them roughly, are just Armor of God enhancements, which work well with other Armor of God enhancements, so I wasn't too disappointed about missing out on those. Um, Iron Redemption is decent, but I think the two top runners here are Music Leader and the Awake Law Soul. Uh, I went with the Awake Law Soul for now, just because I, I think that, as I was mentioning before, like having good Law Souls that don't limit too many other options are good. If we do get more music stuff, like we already do have Banner of Love, um, if we get more music stuff, the music leader will be good. So I actually put this in my 
like kind of my books list spreadsheet where I'm kind of keeping track of what books I have and what I still need. I just put music leader over here to just kind of help keep track of that. I'll zoom in on, on this a little bit uh, just so you guys can see that a little bit better there. Uh, and then last but not least from where I've gotten before I realized that my audio wasn't working, which man, am I glad that I noticed when I did. Wish I would have noticed a little bit sooner, I guess, but uh, noticing before I stopped recording and was like watching the, or started editing or something. Oh man, that would have been rough. Would have been a late, later night than it already is. So anyway, Esther uh, is what I decided to go with for Esther. Oh, that zoomed in on, on this as well. It's a little bit annoying. Um, I guess I can, yeah, I need to do that so you guys can actually see the book I'm talking about here. Uh, there aren't too many cards for Esther. There's 11. Yeah, uh, 11 Esther options here. And most of them are just like Persian brown stuff, which, I mean, it's pretty good. Like Haman's Plot is good. Um, you know, Xerxes is decent. So, I mean, I, I, and Haman is, is decent. So if we go into brown, then maybe I'll switch into something here. But Esther and Mordecai are both kind of the the forerunners, I think, Uh right now, especially because they both work really well with Banner of Love. I'm going with Esther just because I like that with Not Alone and Banner of Love, and she's a female, so that means that Banner of Love is going to have a little bit more likelihood of, of working. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how many other females I'm going to be able to squeeze in here, and she's also two brigades, so uh, makes her a little bit more splashable. Uh, so I think that that would, or that's, that's where I'm going to go for now, but kind of similar to music leader, I put Mordecai as just kind of a note of like, here's my second runner up, basically only other option. I could do that here with, uh, Colossians and self as well. I just, I don't want this to get like too crowded, but I think this is okay. All right. So that's where we're at for now. Got these six cards. Um, going to sort by reference, but I think just for visualizing the deck and seeing what we need, I'm going to sort by type here. Uh, so, so far we've got a dominant, three good enhancements, a hero, and a lost soul. Uh, seems like a solid start. Um, Exodus is going to have a bunch of options here. Yeah, we've got, what, uh, 134? Of course, some of those are probably like duplicates of similar cards, but uh, Ezekiel, we've got 26, so I can take a little bit of time to see what our options are in Ezekiel. Uh, we've got, let's see, New Covenant is a dominant, Magic Charms, if we go into Magicians, eh, probably not, it's, it's a little bit narrow, but Magicians are kind of spread out somewhat. Um, Vain Vision and Valley of Dry Bones, neither of those seem too appealing for dominance. Uh, Drawn Sword and Forest Fire are both good as you know just kind of flexible cards king of tyrus kind of stands out to me here as a he's just kind of a standalone card and um i'm going to be playing this deck or like if i'm playing this deck it's going to be probably against other bible decks uh you know and, and so before i get too far i guess you should uh if you are interested in building a bible deck uh you should maybe pause the video build it and then you can then you can finish watching it and then maybe reach out. We could play a game sometime. Uh, it'd be fun to record and or at least play a game um, if we if we don't want to record it. But uh, it'd be cool to try it out. Um, just if you you know pause the video, and build it yourself, then you're not as influenced by my ideas yet. Uh, I mentioned that at the beginning of the first time that I was recording, but you wouldn't have been able to hear me say it because there was no audio. So uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that at the beginning of this one. I think, unless I'm mixing the two, which is very possible. Um, but anyways, King of Tyrus, if I'm playing this against another Bible deck, it seems likely that I'm going to have, uh, or that my opponent is going to have a decent number of Old Testament uh, heroes, and um, they're probably also going to try to use some dominance. So uh, I think that King of Tyrus is a, a pretty good splashable, like standalone card. Profane Daughter is also fairly splashable. Uh, could work out well with some of the curses from Deuteronomy there, uh, like unsuccessful and stuff. Uh, I'll pull her up as well. Um, so I think it's hard to make a for sure decision on Ezekiel here. He's obviously got some good green stuff with Ezekiel uh, himself, and, and also a couple options with Lost Souls with the Wanderer. Um, 
So yeah, that's a little bit tough. I'm not going to make any decisions on that quite yet, but we'll we'll see where things going to fold into here. Ezra, we've got 14 options there. I do like Oath of Purity. Um, the feasts are, are pretty splashable. There's, of course, Zerubbabel. There's Ezra and, and Jeshua who... Uh, you know, I don't. I don't want to just force Jeshua in here, so I'm not gonna, not gonna do that right away. But <laughs> you know, if there's some top deck synergies, I might try to do it. Uh, there's Accusers, Lost Soul. Probably don't want that. We're gonna, definitely gonna have some OT humans in here. Um, so yeah, I probably won't make a decision on Ezra quite yet either. But uh, Zerubbabel, I think, would be decent and. Um, you know, Feast of Booths maybe would be another um, another good one to think about. It's a little bit a little bit of speed and it's a little more flexible with the th the three brigades. Um, purple, we've already got Esther, so that's something to consider. All right, next we've got Galatians. There are fourteen Galatians cards. Uh, hypocrisy stands out as a, a solid one here. Peace is definitely good. Yeah, a lot of these are just the uh, fruits of the spirit there. Um, I don't think, I mean, at this point, I, it's hard to say that this could be a, a peace deck. Um, so I kind of like hypocrisy. I uh, don't know if I put that in. I, I guess I'll put it in, and then if we end up you know, not using Crimson at all, then that's going to be okay. Uh, I'm not going to be too upset about that. So let's put, uh, let's mark that for Galatians, and we'll put, um, we'll put peace here as well, just as a, a backup. And then that'll just going to also remind me that the other fruits of the spirit are options. So if we want joy, if we want love, uh, then we can do that. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty uh, not great. <laughs> Uh, so we've got Genesis here, which is going to be a bunch. Yeah, 226. Look at that. All right, so hey guy, uh, we've got Habakkuk. I guess I'll do that first uh, before I go into it. So that's uh, Habakkuk is actually looking good for Crimson. Seized by Babylon is a uh, a good option there. So it is. I mean, it's pretty narrow. It's only one brigade. But it is a very good enhancement. Hypocrisy is also pretty good, and it, it works well on, you know, not just, uh, I can't spell seized. Um, it works well on, like, New Testament characters as well. So if I have some New Testament crimson, like self or whatever, like that, you know, seized by Babylon doesn't, uh, doesn't need to be used by a Babylonian to be strong. Um, but Habakkuk is also good. But let's just, let's put Seized by Babylon in there for now. Mark that off. And we'll put Habakkuk as well. Um, Haggai has to be Haggai. He's the, only, he's the only option for Haggai. So I guess I do have another uh, thing there. He's a post-exilic hero. So that kind of makes me wonder if maybe uh, Zerubbabel is the way to go. Um, so for, for Ezra, Zerubbabel, or, or maybe Ezra himself, I kind of like Zerubbabel. Uh, works well with Day of the Lord because he's Old Testament. Um, so that's something to consider. I'm just going put, gonna to put Zerubbabel in here. Uh, he's just you know, a little bit of speed, a little more splashable. Uh, so we've got Haggai figured out. All right, Hebrews. Hebrews has like 50. Two, oh, and then it's got a bunch of dual stuff. So 51 plus the nine dual reference ones here. Uh, so yeah, 60, it's a little bit too much to, to handle at this point. Uh, we've got Hosea. Oh, I did not realize there were this many Hosea cards. We've got 10. Uh, so given to Egypt, Gomer seems pretty good. She's fairly splashable. Bans to any male uh, evil character cannot be negated. Pretty decent transgressors, stubborn heifer, reap the whirlwind, it's decent if we're in brown. Ooh, I do like gathered together. Um, Hosea himself could be good. I think I like gathered together here. Let's, uh, let's take that one. Hosea 111. Huh. All right, uh, so we've got Hosea. And... Um, 
Do I want to mark anything? I mean, I could just put down Hosea there because I might end up needing more heroes. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but you know, having a, an extra green hero there isn't too bad. Um, maybe I'll put down Gomer as well just to... All right. So now we're at First Chronicles. I've got 11 options here. Um, all right, so Joab, not too bad. Red and brown uh, gives some options there. Do you, uh, 12 Finger Giant is kind of nice as having a uh, just a big kind of more standalone option. Ooh, Shealtiel is kind of cool. If I go into Zerubbabel, uh, and then I've got a... Um, Got another post-exilic hero, and then there's Asaph. Oh, that's kind of tough, because Asaph works with Music Leader. If we go that direction, works well with Banner of Love. Um, yeah, I kind of like Asaph here. I don't know. Uh, let's let's do Asaph, and then we'll, we'll get Banner of Love uh, synergies from that, and then... Um, I'll put Shealtiel over over here, just in case we go the posty route. All right, first Corinthians. Uh, Eighteen options here. Lots of clay. That's it's gonna be kind of normal. Uh, some Greek stuff. Ooh, I do like philosophy. Philosophy is pretty good. Holy Grail is pretty good. Oh, Kenaniah is also from First Chronicles. Missed that. Uh, but yeah, I think Asaph is the better of those options, but good to know that he's in there. Um, as far as the enhancements, like Eye on It is going to be probably the best one there. Um, Life Through Christ is decent as well, fairly splashable, clay, silver, and white. As far as the heroes, nothing too special about uh, any of these uh, Corinth heroes that are, are here. Um, do you have a little bit of crimson stuff leading others astray? It's a little, it's a little bad. I, I think I'm gonna go with philosophy. Uh, we can mark that off here first, I guess. I think philosophy is gonna be a you know, fairly, it's just good card, kind of splashable. We've already got a little bit of white going on here, so I like that. I like philosophy. All right, first John, four options here. Both Mask of Fears, uh, Overcome, and Polycarp. Huh. Uh, we don't have any gold or pale green so far, so I don't think either Mask of Fear is the direction we're going. So Overcome and Polycarp are both great options. I like Overcome here. Um, I do want to make sure that we've got enough heroes, though, so let's uh, let's put an Overcome, and then we'll, we'll put Polycarp in the uh, other slot. We're, we're starting to get... a pretty good amount of good enhancements here um, but yeah overcome is just a pretty flexible card um, what was the other one that I was gonna put here polycarp uh, we'll see if it ends up making any sense to, to run John uh, so make polycarp a little bit more uh, versatile flexible useful words uh 55 cards from first kings so let's leave that one open we've got one card from first peter which is holy priesthood oh okay so that's actually that was fairly recent too um holy priesthood was was just printed in roots so that being our only option from first peter uh definitely puts us into needing some clay here uh negating evil or neutral card management that might be a reserve card we'll see <laughs> Um, let's mark that off on here. Got first Peter. All right. First Samuel. That's definitely going to have a good chunk of options here. Yeah, 110. So we'll, uh, we'll probably come back to that. Maybe, maybe grab one of these priests for some, for some more clay. Uh, just trying to see if there's anything else that stands out like right away. Malachite slave uh, looks pretty like a decent option, good Philistine stuff. Looking at these dominance and dual alignment cards are, are probably, you know, it's probably a, a good strategy. We got David's Harp. Uh, that's going to be 
uh, one to consider with some of the enhancements that involve music. So yeah, that'll be good to look at. All right. First Thessalonians, we've got two options, uh, letters to the Thessalonians and work with your hands. Um, I'm guessing that nobody watching this video could read the, or recall the abilities of either of these cards off the top of your head. I know I could not. <laughs> so letters to the Thessalonians activation, you can exchange a card in hand with a good first or second Thessalonians card and discard pile. Protect your discard pile from opponents. Thessalonian heroes ignore heretics. Um, all right, next one. <laughs> Work with your hands. Play during your preparation or battle phase. Set aside all of your clay. Thessalonian heroes for one turn. On return, discard up to X cards. Limit three from hand to draw two for each card discarded this way. All right. These are definitely both reserve cards. Uh, <laughs> question is, which one is better in reserve? I, I, I think work with your hands, I guess. Uh, just because it's probably going to be a little bit more accessible. Um, we'll, we'll put it on here, though. Letters to the Thess. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it'll make sense to use letters doesn't make sense to use either but we got to do it that's that's how it's working um all right so first timothy our options are deceiving spirit and ephesian mentor um ephesian mentor is is the ephesian mentor uh i don't think we're gonna be using enough ephesus heroes but having a clay hero is just decent like it, he searches for and bans to an ephesus hero can get him on a discard pile and cannot be interrupted. It's like this guy's actually pretty good. Like if if the Ephesus theme was good, this guy would be super good. But uh, I don't know if we're gonna if we're gonna get there. Um, Deceiving spirit seems just kind of like an obvious choice because um, it's an orange evil character, but can use enhancements of a selected brigade when you block. So you can just choose a brigade to use and in a splashy deck like this that's that's just gonna be good um but i do like just keeping track of the fact that ephesian mentor is an option here so let's do that all right second chronicles also going to be a big one here lots of uh lots of you know, mighty men and uh that kind of stuff going on in here um so yeah i'll just do a quick look lots of glory of the lord let us stray. Uh, don't have to worry about dominance in there. Um, so yeah, that'll be kind of one of the one of the fill-ins uh, once we once we have a more solid core here. Also, a few decent lost souls here. Hopper is kind of a go-to one. Um, Hopper. I don't know. I'm not too concerned with having like a a refined optimal deck. So uh, it would just be if I feel like I'm low on. Uh, Low on soul gen, I guess, and I'm worried about that. Jahaziel is a, a good one to keep in mind. He would actually be decent for the musicians stuff I got going on here. So, um, yeah, that's uh, maybe one to take note of, but I'm not going to put it in quite yet. Jahaziel. All right. And there's also a few cards that are from Second Chronicles and First Kings, Second Chronicles and Second Kings. So, okay, yeah, Abijah and Manasseh makes sense because uh, they have they they have got different references for their dual identities. Um, all right, Second Corinthians We've got all orange and clay cards. Those are the only options. Uh, oh, and letters to the Corinthians is also an option. Good to know. Um, not going to be that one. <clears throat> Messenger of Satan and God of this World both uh, stand out as decent options. Oh, I also like Generous Giving. Um, hmm. Oh, oh yeah, Deceiver, Second John. Okay, looking looking ahead too too far here. Uh, I like Generous Giving and Messenger the most. Hmm. I feel like we're just not going to have enough orange stuff to make Messenger work. Uh, so let's just, let's go with generous giving, but I will make a note of messenger here. Gener let's use the roots one, the good one. <laughs> the one that only works for, for me, because I'm not that generous, and, you know. Um, 
Yeah, Second Corinthians eight twelve. Nice. All right, Second John. This is going to be a pretty easy one. I mean, you know, Titus. Uh, uh, Titus can can do some some things. He's oh, he's a Second Corinthians. What, am I, what was the other one I was looking at? Uh, okay, so it's oh, Deceiver and Children of Light. Children of Light is uh, you know that's that's a card. It's an option. Um, yeah, uh, this, the version in Lackey actually isn't even the right version. It's not doesn't have the uh, it's it's it has the errated off ability. Um, the official card of Children of Light, in case you don't know, does not have this draw ability part. The the whole second sentence is gone uh, because of a silly deck that uh, abused it back in the day. Should be fine now, I think, under the rules if it if it had this, but. Um, yeah, with one territory class enhancement and four activations rule, this you know would not be a problem now. But uh, obviously, the deceiver, the deceiver is going to be the the go to here uh, for Second John. Um, yeah, that's that's just easy decision. Children of Light. I mean, that's someone splashable. Like it's got three brigades, so it's you know something in its favor, but. Still not really going to do much for us. Uh, lots of cards from Second Kings. Looks like we got 68 options there, so I'm not going to look at that quite yet. Second Peter. We got Rebellious Spirit, Mist, Tartaros, Stronger Than Men, and Saint of Virtue. Wow. Um, those are options, yep. Uh, Rebellious Spirit. Uh, yeah, I think like mist is probably just the the way we're gonna have to go here. Yeah, um, it's the only one that isn't like terrible. It's actually kind of useful in some cases. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that for now. Um, let's see if there's something else that makes sense later. If we just want like an orange evil character. Or a clay and red hero. You know, that, that, that's honestly not a not the worst like reason to just play Saint of Virtue just to have a clay and red hero. Although it doesn't work with Day of the Lord because it's not an OT hero, so but not alone, overcome, holy priesthood. That's a thing. Alright, fine. I'll put Saint of Virtue on the <laughs> uh on the, the list here. What does it actually do? Negate and discard an evil enhancement. You got a weapon. Top deck and armor of God enhancement from discard pile CBP. Yeah. Uh, remember those armor of God enhancements that we didn't include? Uh -huh. Now we can get them back. All right. Second Samuel. Lots of options there. 36. So, yeah, we're going to have to come back to that one. Second Thessalonians, we've got two options. Almost. Well, it's actually just as good as First Thessalonians. Um, maybe slightly more useful. We actually have a character that, like, it's not good, but, uh, it works with some of the enhancements that we took with Hypocrisy and Seized by Babylon, so Imposters, I, I think, is what we're gonna want to go with here. Sand Firm also, like, it's, it's not as bad as the other cards, so <laughs> not as bad as work with your hands. <laughs> There's there there aren't even any Thessalonian heroes in first or second Thessalonians. Um, Say so yeah, I work with your hands literally does. Well, okay, I guess you could use a Thessalonian hero from like Axe or, or something, but pretty much does nothing in this format. Um, I think I'm gonna go with imposters here just because this like I think getting evil enhancement isn't isn't bad, but I, we need a little bit of defense here so. Uh, if we if we run some uh, some New Testament lost souls, then could you know potentially be a chump block kind of a situation there. Uh, so yeah, we'll go with imposters. Second Thessalonians, good to go. Second Timothy, actually some a decent number of options here. Seventeen. Um, silly women kind of stands out as a and both both versions of silly women actually. Kind of nice here. Uh, Claudia is 
pretty decent. Uh, we've got Escape and Tempters, two Lost Souls as options. Um, hmm. So I think Claudia and Silly Women, both versions of either. I mean, like Claudia the Hospitable from Roots is going to be, I think, better than the Persecuted Church Claudio, just because we're not going to have that many clay heroes. So, uh, yeah, I think Claudia is the way to go. Just because of the flexibility there. I need to do an anti hero, but like, oh man, Silly Women has a lot of flexibility as well. Like, both of them here. So, like, playing any evil brigade, that's pretty good. And then being able to get any evil anti human and already being in a little bit of uh, crimson here, also pretty good. Hmm. That's actually pretty tough. Um, but I will just leave Claudia in there for now and we'll put Silly Women. Here, uh, and it'll be either version of Silly Women. So, Third John, uh, you may not expect, but there are five different options that you have for Third John. Imitate is maybe the one that uh, kind of has the most promise here. Uh, but, you know, Diotrephes, you get black and crimson. Um, so, that's it's not the worst. Uh, if, we, if we go with NT Lost Souls, we get a little bit of synergy as well. There, mm. and then also Godspeed. Godspeed is actually kind of good too, but we're already got a lot of good enhancements. Um, had three evil characters so far. Uh, yeah, it's kind of tough. I, I kind of like imitate if we are able to fit some NG Lost Souls, but I don't really know what Lost Souls we're going to have yet other than Awake, um, especially in New Testament Lost Souls. Like a lot of the good ones for, for New Testament Lost Souls are in the Gospels, or um, yeah, so we're, we're probably not going to be able to use those. Revelation has some good ones too. Um, but Humble could could take our James spot, so I don't know. We'll see when we get there, I guess. Uh, let's do, you know, let's do imitate, kind of follow our, our Lost Souls rule. Um, and then we'll make a note on Godspeed and also Diotrephes. Uh, Godspeed, Diotrephes. All right. Isaiah, that's going to have a good chunk of options here. We've got 62 if we include Root of Jesse, both versions of that. Um, so, yeah, I think we're probably going to have to wait on Isaiah, but lots of Assyrian stuff, a little bit of uh, some other like defensive um, options just from various nationalities, and you know, Fallen Star, decent if we have enough orange. Uh, and then, of course, some uh, green stuff, lots of uh, prophetic uh, things that Isaiah did. Virgin Birth is a big one for Isaiah, but, um, like, you know, we're not making a super competitive deck here. But Virgin Birth is still decent because, I mean, green and white are brigades that we're going to be looking at. Um, Isaiah could be good here. Uh, so, yeah, hard to, hard to say on Isaiah so far, but... Just a, taking a few mental notes. In James here, we've got Trembling Demon, Mask of Worldliness. That's not a bad option with uh, having Deceiving Spirit already. Um, and the option of Self later on. Uh, Endurance of Job, Mercy of James, James Leader of Jerusalem, and Humble. I feel like Humble is going to be the way to go here. Take up the James slot with that, but Mask of Worldliness isn't bad either. Uh, let's do, let's do Humble for now, just because it's a New Testament Lost Soul, which we like. Um, got some synergies for that, and then we'll make a note of, uh, do, 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 do. make a note of the uh, Mask of Worldliness. Um... Those actually have the same reference, don't they? No, okay. That's yeah, James 4 6 and James 4 4. 
Uh, pretty close. All right, now we're on to Jeremiah. Jeremiah's got 27 options here, so it's 28, I guess, if you include Treacherous Land. No, not Treacherous Land. New Covenant, Jeremiah, which has a Hebrews reference as well. Um, some good Lost Soul options here. Color Guard, Exiles, Foreigner, Orphans, Punisher, Remnant, and Shame. Uh, color Guard kind of stands out, but we're not going to be in Unity, so never mind on that. Um, Punisher is actually pretty good in this format because there's probably going to be a lot of Brigade Splashing. Uh, Jeremiah Hopebringer, also pretty good. Mm -hmm. A few Babylonian cards. Nebi Shazman and Nurgle Cerezer, both pretty good. Stocks is good. Buckler, I didn't realize that that was a Jeremiah card. Um, hmm. There's a lot in Jeremiah that's good. I, I like Punisher here. It's not a New Testament lost soul, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a little greedy with uh, actually picking a Jeremiah card just because there were a pretty decent number of options that you know, I'm going to have to maybe come back and revisit later, but we'll put uh, Jeremiah... In the, in the in the second column there just to get something out all right job is another book that works best with other job cards so maybe we can pick something out there's 24 options for that um so like probably not going to do any of the you know, evil stuff except for maybe like job's wife could be decent um just splashed in pride of lions uh, it's actually not the worst option. Behemoth, like, uh, it, it feels bad in running blue stuff. Like, honestly, oh, I'd, I'd probably just take Darkness. That's right, I forgot that that was Job. Um, yeah, I feel like Darkness Lost Soul is just the, the way to go. Pride of Lions is maybe a close second, though. Let's get Darkness in here. Yeah. That's uh, just seemed a little too easy, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll change it later on. Okay, so we've got Joel. Not too many options there. We've got Outpouring, Trumpet, and Zion, and Joel himself. Uh, outpouring is not bad. It's green and clay, so two brigades that, I, as I mentioned earlier, probably gonna you know, have a decent number of both of those. You already have a pretty good number of good enhancements, so it might be good to get Joel in here just to have more uh, more heroes. Um, hmm. You have to X evil or neutral cards. Like Joel's not great. Um, the star ability is actually kind of cool. Like looking at your top six and top decking or underdecking them in any order. Like it's not. Not bad, kind of fun for setting things up, filtering out cards that you don't really want, but you do have to do all on top or all on bottom, uh, so it's not quite as flexible in that sense. Um, and then the other card is Trumpet and Zion, which is not, I mean, it's, it's, it's a decent card. Uh, it's flexible with brigades. Uh, fits well with Day of the Lord. Same brigades there. Um, uh, yeah, we definitely need some heroes. Let's just go with Joel and... I don't know. I don't want to put off too many... Uh, too many options here. Um, or put off too many books here. And then Trumpet and Zion and Outpouring for the other two. I'm putting all the Job cards in the list here, just or Joel cards in the list here, just because there are enough that are good. Uh, John is going to be another one that's hard to decide. 77 options. All right, Jonah, we should be able to figure that one out. 11 options here. Um, I feel like it's just got to be Jonah. Like, Pagan Sailors is also a good option, just be, um, because the <clears throat> flexibility with choosing a brigade um but i mean we're in green i just i like jonah here 
yeah, let's do that if we if we need uh, some more defensive support, then then we can work that out when we get there. Got a couple of Josephus cards. Not gonna bother with Josephus because it's not one of the 66 books of the canon. Joshua, I've got 25 options here. Um, hmm. Trumpet Blast kind of stands out. It's a you know clay card, so it can work with other stuff. Um, the new Ark of the Covenant, yeah, not not terrible. Joshua the Conqueror is pretty good, but a little narrow for this. Captain of the Host, just having a big kind of standalone angel, it's pretty good. Uh, Jordan Interrupted could also work well. Um, Hard to say for sure on that one. Um, what does Ark of the Covenant do again? Hmm, restrict evil dominance, but good priest or revelation here is removed from battle by an opponent's ability. I can discard an evil card. I mean, I might have enough priests to make that worth it eventually. Like if I, if I run Jeremiah, maybe run some of the new clay priests. Uh, probably not going to be using any Revelation heroes. I don't know. That's that's hard to make a decision on right now. Um, I've got enough good enhancements. I don't think I'm, Jordan Interrupted is the way to go, so maybe that's the same for Trumpet Blast. Captain of the Host I do like, though. I, I do kind of like that idea. Uh, let's do Captain. We'll put Ark of the Covenant in the uh, consider consideration chair uh, spot there. Uh, I'll just put in the roots one. And um, what do we say? Ark of the Covenant. I don't even know if that's the like second best. Like, ah. I don't know. I do like Trumpet Blast too. I don't think any of the evil stuff was really worth looking at. Like we got just some of the starter deck cards aren't that great. Giving it trickery is very narrow. Same with Army of Jericho. So, yeah. All right. So now we're on to Jude. Uh, nice one with five options here. Divide and unify. Fallen angel. Lord rebuke you, Jude, and the gain lost soul. Um, not great options, but they're definitely better than Thessalonians. Both of the ones there. Um, Fallen angel is probably. Probably what I want. It's kind of the most flexible one. And Jude is, I don't know, there's not going to be a lot of uh, heretics to to do. And you can't have any other Jude enhancements, so yeah. Like if I need a clay hero, then there's then there's that. Maybe I put in the gain loss a little just to make sure I can get my uh, work with their hands out of reserve if I need to, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just go with Fallen Angel, and uh, I think that that's a safe bet. But um, yeah, we don't we don't need to bother with any of the other stuff from Jude. I don't think. Um, well, you know, maybe I will put the gain loss in there. All right, judges, there are fifty six cards. It is a New Testament lost soul, something I can imitate. Maybe I will, you know, consider a gain. Uh, 56 cards and judges, lots of gold, which, uh, you know, we might have with, like, uh, Zerubbabel and... Um, nothing that stands out, like, super useful right away. Uh, Daughter's Grief, Brother's Conflict... Both not too bad. I feel like maybe the defense is gonna be is gonna need some some stuff from from judges. So, yeah. every man's sword, pretty flexible. Uh, fire foxes. That's actually I'd be fairly comfortable just going with fire foxes here, and not even worrying about all the the other stuff. Like that's just a Good card. Good standalone card. Just put that in. Get judges over with. 
Um, some of the honorable mentions from here. So maybe Deborah's Directive, maybe Jephtha. Uh, Every Man's Sword is maybe the best. So let's put that in there. All right. <clears throat> Lamentations, two options here. We've got Hunger and Cup of Wrath. Oh, also uh, books that were, or a book that was not occupied or, or didn't have a card in rotation until Roots came out. So that's a fairly new one. Uh, we're more in Crimson so far, so I think Cup of Wrath is where, uh, where we're going to be. Um, perhaps a reason to use Silly Women. That's a, uh, but I do have some female heroes, so that works for that as well. Uh, let's put hunger in here just to know our options if we decide to pivot to brown for whatever reason. Leviticus, um, hmm, not super. There's there's 19 options here, um, so not not super well fleshed out, but like rock or scattered. Um, it seems like it's probably going to be the best option, the most flexible, but I do like some of these uh, clay enhancements. Um, yeah, I think scattered is a safe uh, bet there. Just getting all the flexibility from the four brigades. Um, some of the animals may be worth looking into at some point. But, uh, you know, if we're for any more crimson evil characters, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think I like going with, uh, whatever I went with there, scattered. <laughs> um, Pentecost is also decent, a uh, little bit, you know, a faster card and Aaron yeah. also. Okay. All right, Luke. Uh, Luke has lots of cards. 134. Man, it's going to be hard to make a decision later, but that's not a problem for me now. All right, Malachi. Blessings for Levi, the Devourer, Malachi, and Spirit of Elijah. Uh, I think Malachi is a pretty safe bet here. Um, maybe a reason to run some Persians later, but I uh, think... I mean, Malachi, he's pretty good and better than somebody like Joel and can maybe free up you know, the, the Joel slot for one of those good enhancements. Uh, Devourer is okay. Blessings for Levi is okay. Spirit of Elijah is very okay. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really need that. Mark, we've got only 38. Uh, it's actually fewer than I anticipated for one of the Gospel books. Uh, so that might be a little bit easier to decide, but still I think I'm going to wait on that. Matthew... Whole bunch for Matthew, 122. So wait on that. We've got Micah. The Afflicted, the Outcast, the Syrian Invaders, Stricken. Not any gray or black yet, really, but uh, Siege, Swords to Plowshares out of Bethlehem and Micah. We've got kind of a little Minor Prophets theme going on here, so I kind of like Micah. Uh, but I will put Stricken in the in the margin there, just because uh, that's good. We decided on Malachi, uh, Micah, uh, Stricken. What is the it's a Matthew Micah card? Is that, um, oh, okay, yeah, the Bethlehem promo. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Nahum, we only have Nahum. That's our only option, so it's good to know. So Nahum, uh, kind of forced into here. Uh, if I want value with Nahum, I need Nineveh or an Assyrian to add him to battle. Um, okay, that's good to know. He might just be a 3-7 minor prophet. Might just be a, a counter for Micah <laughs> to draw an extra card uh, with Nahum. But, uh, all right, we got Nahum. And next up, we're Nehemiah. Got 11 options here. Hard not to go with Jade and the Maranathite, but uh, for the sake of the deck and, you know, strategy-wise, we don't have any fortresses so far, so <laughs> maybe won't go that way. Rubble and Dust, decent. I Am Sustainer, could be okay. 
Uh, do kind of like Jerusalem Tower here. Mm. Builder Spear and Builder Sword are also not too bad. Um, we don't have like a whole lot of gold and red. Um, Baruch for a little bit of drawing. If we do go with Zerubbabel and Shealtiel. Uh, I think probably going with something a little more generic, like one of the fortresses or I Am Sustainer even could be good. Like if we're playing a Bible deck you know, format or something and people are going to be probably playing Punisher, I don't know, uh, possibly playing, playing, playing Punisher at least, uh, then I Am Sustainer could be good. Give our single brigade OT heroes um, CBP, cannot be prevented in battle. Oops, that's not what I want. Um, Jerusalem Tower seems like it's pretty much only giving the protection, though. I don't know if there's really going to be any, like, Banish and OT Gold synergies with this. Uh, so maybe Wall of Protection is the way to go. I don't know. That's, that's hard. Let's just get the protection with Jerusalem Tower. We'll see if anything comes up from a Banish perspective. Uh, but I'm going to put Baruch over here. We'll put um, Wall of Protection. And I think that's probably everything that needs to be uh, accounted for. I mean, like, Builder Sword is pretty decent if we have enough uh, gold and, and red. But I don't think that's where we're at so far, so... Uh, numbers, 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 numbers. There are 52 numbers cards that we can choose from. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Uh, Obadiah, I've got three options. We do Hidden Treasures, Foolish Edomites, and Obadiah himself. I don't remember what uh, POC Obadiah does. Is there any evil card from Bones Reserve or Banish X evil cards from a discard pile? Ban to a minor profit. Okay, kind of like that. Can happen to get different OT Crimson Humanism play. <clears throat> Foolish Edomites doesn't really seem all that tempting. Uh, it's you know, on Brigade for some of the Crimson stuff, but it's an Edomite instead of a Babylonian, and it's a fool. So uh, really, I would rather not be the one who controls it. I don't think it's really good enough to... I guess Hidden Treasures I have enough profits to make that good. Yeah, Hidden Treasures, okay, yeah, that, that seems like a pretty easy choice, actually. Uh, so let's do, let's do that. Um, yeah, and then Philemon, we've got Aphia, Onesimus, and Philemon. Philemon, I think, is the best one here. Aphia just gets clay cards with Christ or Jesus from, in the title of the scripture verse, from Discord Pile. Onesimus, kind of bad um, unless you're in like a dedicated Colossi deck I think Philemon is good he at least just draws a card <laughs> cannot be interrupted at the very least uh, if we find some other Colossi heroes then yeah that seems reasonable uh, so we got Philemon out of the way Philippians 7 Seven options for Philippians. Letter to the Philippians, of one mind, Clement, Epaphroditus, Iodia, Syntyche, and the Generous Givers. Hmm. Mm -hmm. None of these really are, uh, really are speaking out to me. Uh, Epaphroditus is maybe the, the best option. Probably the best option. Um. Of One Mind is, like, it's actually a card that I'm not, uh, like, uh, I, I don't discount it too much. Like, the band abilities being CBN is kind of cool. CBN Claudia, CBN, uh, I'm not alone on some banding heroes, or on some clay heroes. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think of one mind can maybe be the runner up and we'll just put Epaphroditus in here. Helps us get some some clay count uh, up for for heroes. 
of one nine. Um, yeah, everyone else is a little too narrow and just working well with other Philippi heroes, so not really what we want there. Proverbs, you got 12 options here, so there's Strife is the dominant. We've got a few Evil Enhancements with Envy, Mask of Arrogance, Mask of Pride. We've got Whirlwind, Everlasting Ground. It seems like a decent uh, one or option there. A um, bunch of no special ability Lost Souls from the starter decks. Oh, and also the Lost Souls, Lost Souls from Proverbs. What does Lemuel do again? That's not what I wanted to open. Um, uh, if you control a female hero, you can exchange a card in hand with an OT purple enhancer from Discard Pile. Huh. So that's Banner of Love. Uh, not alone and gathered together. That's actually a little tempting. I'm not like I'm, I've got mostly NT lossals so far. I'm not super hurting on Soul Gen or super. You know, doesn't doesn't really feel like I need it. So let's put in Lemuel. Uh, another option is that I could count humble for uh, for proverbs and then use Mask of Worldliness as well. Um, it's for James. Yeah, no, that's not a, not a bad idea. Um, I also do kind of like Whirlwind, just because it's a, a multi-brigade enhancement. So, but doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Uh, so that's we'll we'll see about that. Uh, and both the masks are decent, but I'm I just don't really feel like I'm in gray or brown yet. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, Psalm, there are 19. I'm going to be looking for some music stuff, see if we can get more of that going on. Um, yeah, Lost Souls aren't really anything to write home about. Sheol, we're not going to have uh, Unity for that. Um, so I feel like maybe one of these heroes could be good. Fearless Traveler, Righteous Seeker, and Warrior in Training. Um... King's Daughter, Battle Prayer. The new Solomon's Temple is a psalm card. Oh, Lurking is also psalms. Mask of Vanity. Man. There's actually more options here than I... Or, like, more good options here than I expected. Like, Lurking, that's just very flexible. But, honestly, I'm not sure, like, how flexible I really need to be so far. Like, I've, I've got a decent crimson base with a little bit of splashing of, like, orange and stuff going on. Uh, so I kind of wonder if Mask of Vanity is, like, just the way to go. Like, I'm not... I don't care too much about Battle Prayer. Uh, let's just put a Mask of Vanity. I want to see the new Solomon's Temple. Under deck an artifact held here. If you do, you may take a Solomon's Temple Priest from deck or negate an evil card. It's not bad if we do end up with Jeremiah. Um, yeah, let's uh, we'll just put that in the margin here. Um, yeah, I do like having a few other cards that involve music for music leader synergy, but just don't know that any of these other cards are worth it like warrior in training i guess could be but doesn't uh it's symbolic so it doesn't count as male or female i don't believe uh for um the one card banner of love but drawing is good mm. 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 all right we'll see how many other white heroes we need if any Alright, on to Revelation. Revelation has a bunch of cards, 112, so I'm definitely not going to be able to choose one of those right away, but a lot of them are just silver cards that are good, but uh, not great. Um, I don't know, maybe I, did, maybe I do just go with three woes right away. It's like, everything else is just not going to be as effective. I don't know. Did we already what do we what do we do with Hebrews? I just skipped over the the fact that uh second coming was in Hebrews. 
Oh yeah, I just skipped over Hebrews altogether because yeah, there are just so many cards. Um, because like second coming from Hebrews rules out all the other Hebrews stuff, but I could do New Jerusalem from Revelation. Um, you know what? Let's just do three woes. I don't need to spend too much time on on this. You know, we're already gonna be sort of long here with this video, so uh, I just want to get this, get that out of the way. Let's, uh, yeah. As you can see, we're getting fairly close. I mean, there's definitely going to be some other good options from Revelation. I just don't think any of them are going to be as good as Three Woes. Um, did I actually put it in here yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the way we're going to go. Uh, so, Revelation taken care of. Romans, 12 options here. So, we've got the three new emperors, or three of the new emperors, I should say from uh, Roots, Caius Caligula, Otho, Vitellius. They work best with other Romans. I mean, I guess Otho is a little more, like, uh, independent, but uh, I'm not really in enough gray yet, I don't think. Wages looks tempting. Kind of in the brigades I'm already in. Probably has some synergies with some of the cards. Paul also looks very tempting. I feel like Paul is probably the best option, especially if we're running Claudia and all the other like green and clay stuff that we have. Um, but wages is a close second. So let's do uh, wages over here. I wonder what card has the Revelations uh, book. <laughs> is that the, the first one? Revelations is a very common mis, uh, I don't know, it's not really a mispronunciation because you're, you're not like, you are pronouncing it wrong, but it's not wrong for that reason. It just has an extra letter. A lot of people say Revelations of John, but it's just, just one revelation. <laughs> um, not that I, not that it's a pet peeve of mine or anything. Uh, oh man, I've got a lot of heroes. All right, Paul, 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 can I type? There we go. Um, yeah, I think, I think Paul's going to be a good fit here, but, uh, yeah, might not have space for him. What do I actually still need? I need, like, utility stuff and probably a few more evil characters. I've got one artifact. This is actually looking pretty solid like I've got five lost souls I need five more dominance at 42 in main deck and one in reserve so we're what nine plus 14 so 23 cards uh, shy so far which uh, yeah makes sense we're, we're getting pretty close to the end of this list uh, so Ruth is up next lots of Ruth cards but most of the Ruth cards work well with other Ruth cards uh, but David kind of just feels like he's going to be the the way to go. Um, yeah, so much flexibility there with David, but also got a lot of other heroes already, so uh, there's also Bethlehem. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, let's just go with David. Uh, it's going to be better than most of the other cards in Ruth, that's for sure. Um, just because he's better than most of the other cards in the game. Uh, is there anything that I need to, or I want to put in the, the margin there? Mm. For sure. I'll put Bethlehem in there just as a... Like... The idea is that most people, or for for the this format, like the uh, multi brigade evil cards are going to be fairly useful, or like probably what people kind of gravitate towards using. And so, getting the value on on Bethlehem here with uh, the the fortress side, your opponent playing multi brigade evil cards, 
either being able to draw one or negating that card, like that's that's not too bad. Um, but I just I don't know. That's better than David. But we already just have so many heroes that you know we we're gonna need to figure something out. Um, there are no let's see yeah no lost souls from Ruth. So yeah, uh, Song of Solomon we got that figured out with Banner of Love. Titus, we've got two options. We got Corrupted and Titus the Messenger. That's the new Titus that does one again. Protect, uh, choose an evil entity human to block. That's actually pretty good as far as clay heroes go. Um, but I feel like Corrupted might be better just to get a little more defense in here. Yeah, we're at a couple. I mean, we've got a few orange evil characters. Um... How many clay heroes do we have? One, two, three, four, with the possibility of more fairly easily. They're probably going to have some new Testament evil characters, though, because you know, there's options for those, like the imposters. <laughs> uh, let's go with Corrupted. I like that a little. Oh, wait. Oh, I was thinking that this was better <laughs> it's still a battle winner um for some reason i was thinking it was it did something different but yeah this is what it does huh. all right well yeah we'll still we'll still put it there maybe it goes in reserve or, or something but i'm gonna put titus the messenger in here all right, uh, we want to go back over here. Zechariah has actually a pretty decent number of options. 16 here. Uh, Mighty Men, not too bad. Probably going to get some decent draws with that. Uh, Zechariah, through Bubble's Plumb Line, by my spirit. Uh, Foolish Shepherd, it's actually not. Not a bad option. <clears throat> hmm, flying scroll. It's good. Uh, I feel like Mighty Men is probably the way to go. Like banding to Green Prophets is kind of nice. Um, or Zechariah. Oh, man, this it's kind of hard. Um, like, I, I just think that the the drawing, the speed is going to be good, but like, are there enough red enhancements to really make it worth it? Not alone, Day of the Lord, both work. Uh, but Zechariah is just um, kind of a boss. Uh, what star cards do we have that work on him? Gathered Together, Day of the Lord. Still, it's a lot of heroes, though. Uh, this is... Uh, so, is there something that would be a little better? Maybe I have to go with, like... Well, probably not Scattered Sheep. Maybe I do go with Foolish Shepherd. Yeah. Let's, let's get a little more defense in here. And you know, we'll see where things, uh, where things take us. So, we want Mighty Men... And Zechariah here. Alright, Zephaniah, it looks like that's going to be pretty easy. We've got three options. Zephaniah himself, not that great. Uh, complacent and Distressed. I like Distressed here, I guess. That's kind of the best uh, best option. So, uh, Distressed. Get that in there. Alright, so next, I think the, the easiest and... You know, uh, or the, the step next step that makes the most sense so once we've now that we've gotten through all the books once just kind of in the you know, first time through we've got 47 of them so uh, I've got a little bit of a ways to go here 29 is that, uh, is that how the math works 19 that's yeah okay uh, we've got one lost soul left to pick and five dominance left to pick. I think that's going to be the next like easiest step here is going through and figuring out what uh, lost souls and dominance we have available. So let's just do 
uh, type lost soul and basically anything with a big book. <laughs> um, I feel like Deuteronomy is going to be a good one to pick from. We've got Covet and let's just, let's just sort by reference here. Um, Covet and Prosperity. Uh, I guess covet, we want unity for that, so yeah, pretty much just prosperity. Looking at the New Testament ones might be better, just because we have a little bit of New Testament, lost soul, synergy, we want something good that imitate can can copy. Um, a lot of the best ones are going to be in Hebrews, so like our you know, lawless or forsaken. Um, let's see... Already got James. Jude, do I want to go with the gain loss soul to make sure I can get my stuff? Um, what did we have from Jude? What's in here? Oh, yeah, Fallen Angel. Mm. And filed, no. Salty, no. Uh, it's hard to just pick a lost soul from Luke. Like, that's... I don't know. There's not really even anything here that I'd, I'd want, I don't think, except for the crowd's lost soul, maybe. Um, huh. Yeah. It's kind of a little harder than I, I thought. Maybe Harvest. Harvest isn't too bad. Um, picking something from John feels a little limiting. Uh, we got the wig, we got Daniel. All right, let's look at the Deuteronomy cards here. I want to, I want to see what our Deuteronomy options are. See if I can go with prosperity. Because, like, odds are we're gonna have something that we want to throw away. Um, unsuccessful is definitely one of the better Deuteronomy cards as it uh, um, yeah it's just a good or a, a very good evil enhancement but it's not in really any of the brigades that were like we're not really in gray yet but huh, I mean we kind of can be in gray <laughs> like we're uh, we've got deceiving spirit and foolish shepherd and lots of Flexibility with cards to pick here. Uh, so unsuccessful might actually be the way to go with Deuteronomy, but I think that's the only thing really standing in front of me in prosperity here. Maybe doubt, but I, I doubt it. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, I think for Lost Souls, I think prosperity is just the, the way to go. We kind of got to bite the bullet on imitate being useful other than you know getting extra humble making maybe copying something of my opponents and you know, doing awake is decent too and get some extra soul gen but and it feels a little bad it feels a little uh uh nambo -y. not nambo you just like just feels like i'm not making good use of my materials you know it's like uh you gotta if if they're you're using the ingredients and stuff and the uh, top chef or, or no chopped that's what it is uh, where you have like the ingredients that you're supposed to use and you're judged based on how well you're using the ingredients it doesn't feel like a good use of the ingredients but um, that's all right okay so we've got all the lost souls now let's do dominance see what we're see what options we're left with here. Um, of course, it's not dominance, just dominant. Um, all right, so Angel of the Lord has some axe options. I think I wanted to sort, sort by name now. Uh, New Beginning, not doing that. Angel of God, probably not. Angel of the Lord, we've got we've got Exodus and axe options. I feel like I'm gonna want something else from Exodus though. Um, I don't know. I feel like just what might set decks apart is just using the best dominance and kind of just you know 
uh, accepting that that's going to rule out some other uh, good cards, good options, but uh, knowing that that's probably just for the best. Mayhem is Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Shipwreck is Axe. I think for Son of God, like Daniel is probably just the way to go. Like, I don't think there was too much else in Daniel that uh, really fits well other than Daniel himself. Um, but maybe Daniel himself fits better than, like, some of the, the cards in Matthew and Luke. Uh, Alright, where are we at for, like, good enhancements here? Like, we've got so many green heroes already. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think, I, I don't think we need Daniel as cool as he would be or as good as he would be. Uh, so let's do the Daniel, Son of God. Get that uh, accounted for here. We took care of Deuteronomy with Prosperity Lost Soul. Um, second Coming. Yeah, I, I think that's just the better way to go. So we'll get that with Hebrews. We'll get Hebrews with that, I guess. Uh, Hebrews. Okay. Man. Uh, where are we at? Four dominance so far. Yeah, I think just Angel of the Lord, probably from Exodus. Like, what else do we need from, do we want from Exodus? Like, what, what options we got here? Uh... Some of these artifacts are okay. Golden Calf, I guess, is kind of the main one. Book of the Covenant could be useful if I find some covenants that are good to kind of fill things out. Um, <laughs> Don't think any of those are what I'm going for. Uh, Plagues, 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 fortresses, a tabernacle. Mm. See, support cards are going to be kind of hard to use in this format, or at least to use well or to implement well, just because the, like, support cards are very theme-specific usually, and uh, can't really get too theme-specific with this deck. Um, Flag of Frogs is maybe kind of the one that I'm, Thinking of the most, or maybe I am has sent me. Hmm. Moses is probably. I think Moses the servant. It's actually probably the best card. Um. But you know, it's like, do I need another hero? That's the question. Do I need another hero? Are there heroes I can reasonably cut? Moses is also a musician, so there's that. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to know which of these heroes are actually necessary. <laughs> I feel like I want to cut Joel for whatever it is that uh, he could be cut for. Trumpet and Zion are outpouring. Let's do outpouring. Uh, so Joel is coming out. And I want to put in Moses. Or do I want to put Angel of the Lord? Because there's going to be a lot of axe stuff too. That's good. Oh, this is tough. Uh, Christian Martyr is out of the question because that's Revelation. We've already got three woes. I think three woes is better there. Um, Do you, have any, do you have enough warriors to make Buckler worth it? I don't think so. Yeah. I, I, mm. All right, let's just go with Exodus, Angel of the Lord. Because that way David can search for it. I think that's just better, better than Moses. David kind of fills the Moses role. We'll put Moses over here. 
for a later reference if we need to. All right. Mm, so what, we're at five dominance now. Chronicles, first kings. Do we have first kings? Nope. Uh, I feel like Chronicles is good. Probably better than most other stuff. We got Deuteronomy for doubt. Can do Harvest Time. Can do Mayhem for Isaiah. Um, and figuring out a Genesis card is going to be kind of tough, I think. Probably just an evil enhancement or something. There's a decent number of those. So yeah, I think uh, First Kings with our um, with uh, Chronicles is going to be good, and Resurrection could be okay. It would take up the Matthew slot though, so it'd be I don't know. Probably don't have any fortresses or empty tomb heroes to go along with that. So maybe Crowd's Choice just takes the Matthew slot. Huh, that'd be interesting. Uh, so let's put in Chronicles. Let's do the fancy plus version. That's going to be First Kings. I don't even know what I'm missing out there, but uh, no, I don't care. It's uh, <laughs> probably nothing that's as good as Chronicles. And, you know, I'm going to say the same thing for Matthew. That feels a little bit more risky, though. Maybe I should actually look at Matthew. Uh, see what what goodies I'm missing out on. The cross, four drop of coin, uh, uh, brood of vipers, foolish builder, moth. Like, there's a bunch of good cards, but just not. Uh, I don't know. Oh, tenants is good. Beelzebub, mm, Nazareth, Church of Christ, Gates of Hell. Gates of Hell, I could see an argument for. Authority of Christ, I could definitely see an argument for. Hmm. We could go back to posties, get a keem in there, Zerubbabel. <laughs> uh, John the Fisherman. Man, so many good cards in Matthew. This is hard. I mean, I kind of expected this to be not, like, super easy. Um, like, I'm just, I just pr probably should just make decisions at this point and, you know, have, and it's not like I have to make this super good. Let's just go with crowd's choice and like, you know, if there's something uh, better I need later, then we'll figure that out. But uh, I feel like crowd's choice from Matthew is just still better than mayhem from Isaiah, but yeah, I don't know. All right, that is seven dominance, so we are good there. We have five more slots in the main deck and nine more slots in reserve. Of course, some of these cards might uh, move to the main deck, so or move to the reserve from the main deck, so uh, that is an option. All right, now I think I just have to start looking at the big ones and, and making decisions here, so let's go back up to Axe. Uh, I do need some evil characters, so I feel like maybe just going with Sapphira is actually pretty good here. Do I have any uh, CBP by a good card, but Hypocrisy is good. She's a female for Cup of Wrath. Mm -hmm -hmm. Seven Sons isn't too bad either. Egyptian Rebel is okay. Simon the Magician. Uh, Finding Damsel. Kind of like Damsel. I don't have a whole lot to, to go along with her, though. Um, hmm. All right, let's look a little bit at the, the good stuff here. What I'm going to be missing out on on that. We've got a lot of good enhancements already. Things that are that are okay. Um, yeah, I'm not... There's, there's nothing here that I feel too bad about missing out on, I don't think. Um... Ends of the Earth could be pretty good, but uh, lying unto God. Ooh, kind of like that with Sapphira, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with Sapphira. 
I'll try to see if I can get some other synergies with her as we go. But I definitely need more evil characters. Uh, Ezekiel's kind of the next big one here. Uh, so I'd already kind of looked at that a little bit, thinking about like King of Tyrus. I think probably he's still the way to go. The the roots, King of Tyrus, could actually be good. <clears throat> Watchmen would be good with all of the prophets that I have, but it's just again so many heroes already. Um Babylonian Siege Army would be good if it weren't for the Unity. Profane Daughters could be good. Way to maybe use my reserve a little bit better. Um, hmm. <laughs> what else do I have that Profane Daughters could actually use? So Mist, Scattered. That's it. Uh, what else do I have that King of Tyrus could actually use? Mist, <laughs> Corrupted. <clears throat> um, mm. Yeah, let's do King of Tyrus. I think that is the better option right now. All right, so we've got Ezekiel. Now we need to figure out Ezra. We've got Zerubbabel as an option there. Ezra. Symbols is a, is a music card. Which I didn't really decide on going with music stuff. So I don't put in music leader yet, but I think maybe that should change. Um, Ezra. Purity. Running out of space in the main deck, so I'm going to have to start thinking about reserve and what could actually be accessed from there. Let's do symbols. <clears throat> Maybe actually put symbols in reserve and uh, David's Harp in the main deck. And that can be our um, whatever book this is from, 1 Samuel. So we do have David in here, so let's, uh, let's knock out. That and First Samuel. Boom. Look at that. Progress. <clears throat> Taking out a wake, though, means I'm going to need to find another lost soul to <laughs> replace it with, and another New Testament lost soul, maybe, to try to work with Imitate. So, I don't know. All right. So many Genesis options here. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, 20 Shekels stands out immediately as a... Good option there, very flexible. I do like that. Might just roll right straight with that. Covenant with Adam, also good. Fairly flexible and can, um, yeah, good support card. Um, so 20 shekels, Covenant with Adam. Uh, let's see, Crimson Staff, the Serpent, Serpent isn't bad either, based on the rest of what I've got going on here. Uh, I think bringing Grief is okay. I think I like 20 Shekels, I don't have that many, ooh, Storehouse, ooh, Storehouse, ooh, Storehouse. Uh, that's reserve access right there, which is somewhat few and far between. Mm -hmm. uh, I've already got Jerusalem Tower, but I feel like I can replace that with something else from Nehemiah. Yeah, yeah, I think we go with Storehouse. Uh, and... I was looking forward to making 20 shekels the best card available, but uh, yeah, I think I think Storehouse has it for sure. Um, yeah, the heroes are decent. There's some good green heroes that could work well, but yeah. Um, ooh, Wicked Lost Soul. 
isn't the worst either. But yep, I think we want storehouse. Let's just roll with that. Uh, we'll figure out something different for uh, Nehemiah when we get there. We got Hosea. We got Hebrews. Okay, so Second Chronicles. Could just go with Jehaziel, but I want to look at the defense here. What are some defensive options? Uh, Second Chronicles. Let's just highlight these just so I know what, where to stop here. <laughs> okay. Oh, now you're seeing the seeing the secrets of my collection. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Edomite captors, no. Aliens, that's not the worst. It's an option. Worship of Edom. Impartial judgment. <gasps> Ooh, could do that. Could do that. Um... Temple dedication. The Lord goes before you. I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. Could put that in reserve. Get it out with David's harp and storehouse. Jehaziel was one that I was thinking about, but uh, yeah, let's go with the Lord goes before you. I like that. Put that in the reserve. And we're almost there. Let's see, where are we at? Oh gosh, super long. <laughs> I shouldn't have even looked. Um, okay, so we got Second Chronicles. If you're still with me at this point, you haven't skipped ahead or anything, like, wow, props to you. You are a trooper. Uh, I'm surprised that I'm even still here. All right, Second Kings. Uh, two bears. Seems like a good one that stands out. Elisha also stands out. I feel like one of these evil characters would be good. Charioteers of Seir and King of Edom. Uh, King Jehu. Captive princes. Uh, kind of like Book of the Law. Way to balance my David. Yeah, let's do Book. Second Kings. All right, Second Samuel. There weren't quite as many options here, so hopefully that'll be a little bit easier. Uza, no, you need you need you for that now. Otherwise, you'd totally be there. Royal Parade. Royal Parade. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like Royal Parade is uh, calling my name. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's yeah. Then uh, I I feel like I need more defense, but just just like it's hard to justify any of that. Um, does Royal Parade go in the main deck? Do I put that in reserve as well? I think it goes in the main deck for now. I'm at 57 in the main deck for at this point, so I'm gonna have to move something, but. Uh, Real Parade of 2nd Samuel. It's a little... What is this? Uh, I guess it was when okay, that David was bringing back the Ark. And David was uh, dancing, going a little crazy. <clears throat> His wife was like, oh, Stop doing that. You're embarrassing us. Uh, Alright, Isaiah... They, uh, yeah, lots of options there. Ah, I did it again. Don't look. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. But, um, all right, here's our evil options. Mm, mayhem, packed with death, and treasures. I just want stuff that can work well in reserve at this point. Um, can't really do anything with Fallen Star as much as I'd want to, but the Unity just doesn't quite work. 
I have magicians enough for invoking terror. That's, that's a weird way to say that sentence, but you know what I mean. Mm. I mean, it works well with Sapphira. And I could do Profane Daughters instead of King of Tyrus. I like that. Let's do it. Invoking Terror. And that's Isaiah. This is kind of hard, guys. If, uh, if any of you can do it faster than me, I'd be... I mean, like, I'm sure you could do it faster, but, like... You know, uh, doing it thoroughly and faster, I would be... Uh, I would be... I mean, not like surprised, not trying to say that I'm, I can do it fast, but I'm just like curious, you know, if anyone's like, oh yeah, easy, easy pick, easy pick. Um, I tend to overthink things. Uh, Pilfer, Purloin, Thievery of Judas. Questioning Christ, we got Fence Jumpers, The Thief. Looking at John now, in case you didn't catch that. Crown of Thorns, Sychar, Covenant of Prayer. Covenant of Prayer could be decent just for reserve access stuff. Like general, just getting whatever you need because yeah, the, it's harder to get like specific reserve access cards to synergize well with everything else that's going on here. Um, yeah, we don't really have enough Thief stuff for Pilfer, Purloiner, Thievery. Um... Using the John slot on the John slot. <laughs> Using it on uh, on what's Covenant of Prayer feels a little strange. Um, hmm. Or I could just put John in reserve. But it'd be John the Apocalyptist because John the uh, both the other Johns are, or I guess John the Fisherman and John the Forerunner are not John heroes. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, that feels a little weird. I don't think John the Apocalyptist is the way to go uh, in a deck like this. Uh, he makes John and Revelation Enhancement CBN and can use them regardless of Brigade. Which, uh, yeah, not going to have that many if uh, in, a, in a deck where the Revelation card is Three Woes and the John card is John the Apocalyptus. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's find just something on defense. That's good. That works. Uh, or, just, or just go with Counting a Prayer. All right. I'm doing it. No more delays. Coming to prayer, going in. So John is now accounted for. Luke, you're up next. Did I already do a Luke card? I don't think I did. Yeah, just I was not sure if I did one and then uh, didn't cross it off. Didn't update the list. All right, Luke, so many options here. Um, so I could do one of the Lost Souls, switch out one of the other Lost Souls for something else, because I was thinking about switching out Awake for Music Leader. Crowds seems like it would it would be good. Um, Zechariah, also a good card. Ambush, Hurling Insults, Left for Dead, Stolen Seed. Eh, Mocking Thief, Ambushing Man, it's Highwayman. Ooh, Highwayman seems good. That seems very tempting. Repentant and Condemned Thief could also be good. Judas is good. Hmm. Let's go with the Highwayman. Yeah. Like, they're going to be splashed. It's going to be a lot of brigades. going to be lots of drawing. It's going to be perfect. All right, so we got Luke. Uh, we got Malachi. We need Mark. Marky Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, plunders could be good. New Covenant could be 
not great. Um, Denarius. Uh, I like plunders. Plunder seems good. Kind of fits with what we got going on here. Let's go with that. Did I actually make it in? Yep. Okay. Um, so we need there's Mark. We're getting close. We're getting close. Just going to be a matter of moving cards to reserve, figuring out what can actually what I can actually get out. But you know, coming into prayer is going to help clean up that a bit. Uh, numbers, Phineas of Spear and Zeal, Fiery Serpents. Let's look for some support stuff. We could do Blood Avenger just as a splash. It's pretty good. I like Blood Avenger. Um, courtyard, Potential. Balaam's also good. Uh, you could do the the new Balaam just to get another like synergy for uh, invoking terror. Uh, I don't think I need that. I think I might end up with profane daughters over uh, um, over. Ooh, yeah, so let's do profane daughters instead of king of tyrus, and then I can put deserving scorn in reserve. Let's just do it that way. So I'll put Deserving Sword in Reserve, want King of Tyrus uh, removed. He's coming out, so you can just do that from here. Uh, let's do that. And we'll get Profane Daughters in here. And then that covers Numbers. We got Proverbs, we got Psalms. Is that it? Is that is that everything? 65. What am I missing? Alright, so we got we don't need revelations. Uh, we got Psalms. We got Proverbs. We got Matthew. Oops. Got Malachi. Got Jeremiah. Now I'm just it's making me think that I'd misclicked something and it didn't actually go in the deck. Oh, Second Chronicles. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Had me worried there for a moment. Alright, Second Chronicles. Skipped over that one for some reason. <clears throat> I thought I did get Second Chronicles. Yeah, because I was thinking about Jehaziel and ended up putting something else in here. So I maybe just didn't cross that one off. Uh, yeah, because I did, I did. Yeah, it was Lord Goes Before You. Huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. It, it is crossed off right here. Okay. I'm just confusing myself. Uh, Hosea, delete that. Hebrews, we got all those. Genesis, we got that. Acts, we got that. Deuteronomy, we got that. All right, so I just just counted something that didn't click. Oh no! <clears throat> all right. Uh, if only we could put this in biblical order: Genesis, Exodus. Uh, oh man. This is rough. Alright, we got Acts, Amos, Amos, Colossians, Daniel, Deuteronomy, Ecclesiastes, Ephesians, Esther, Exodus, Ezekiel, Galatians. Will we get Ezra? Oh yeah, yeah. Symbols. Galatians, Genesis, Habakkuk, Haggai, Hebrews, Hosea, 1 Chronicles, 1 Corinthians, 1 John, 1 Kings, 1 Peter, 1 Samuel, 1 Timothy, 2 Corinthians, 2 John, 2 Kings, 2 Peter, 2 Samuel, 1 Corinthians, 2 Kings. Oh, this is like impossible. 
61 plus 4 is 65, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. You guys need to look at both of these next to each other. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm, I'm doing this so that, like, in part because I don't really have to edit it, I can just kind of keep on letting it go um, and keep talking so that I'm filling up the space. And uh, that's because I'm, it's late and I have to be to work early tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Ecclesiastes, Ephesians, Esther, Exodus, Ezekiel, Ezra, we got in reserve, Galatians, Genesis, Habakkuk, Haggai, Hebrews, Hosea, 1st Chronicles, 1st Corinthians, 1st John, 1st Kings, 1st Peter, 1st Samuel, 1st Timothy, we got 1st Thessalonians in reserve, 2nd Corinthians, we got 2nd Chronicles in reserve, 2nd John, 2nd Kings, uh, 2nd Peter, 2nd Samuel, 2nd Thessalonians, 2nd Timothy, 3rd John, Isaiah, James, Jeremiah, Job, Joel, oh, Joel. Oh, it's because we took out Joel and didn't put something else in here. Um, what was the other thing I was going to put in? Outpouring. You know, I bet someone out there was like, hey, you said you were going to put outpouring or something back in there, and you never did. And they, they knew what was happening all along, but uh, you know, why didn't you tell me sooner? All right, so I need to move six cards over to reserve, and then we'll be set. Uh, so let's do cards that I can actually get out of reserve. I couldn't get Oshi artifacts, but I like all of those in the main deck. Uh, Mist feels like it's probably not good. Corrupted, also not good, but I can't really get those out very easily. Hmm. Foolish Shepherd feels like it could be a reserve, like, deceiver option. Uh, I feel like I like that. Oh, yeah, Jerusalem Tower. I was going to find something else from Nehemiah. Because who needs Jerusalem Tower? Not in this deck, this build. All right, I could put a Forbidden Marriage in reserve. Um, I don't know, I could hear playing a good card from opponent's hand. I feel like that's probably just the way to go at this point. Uh, something I can grab with... Uh, Profane Daughters. Yeah. So that's going in there. Jerusalem Tower coming out. Um, Day of the Lord does banish things, so that actually would trigger Jerusalem Tower, but not enough OT gold stuff to make that worth it. Um, Alright, what else can go in reserve? Five more cards. Outpouring isn't great, but uh, not super accessible. Hmm. Is there something, probably something better from Joshua that could fit in here? Uh, do I have any missionaries for Epaphroditus? I don't think... Oh, I've got Paul. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Hmm... Mm -hmm. Let's do some of these heroes. Let's do Nahum because we didn't end up using that kind of stuff. Let's put Captain in there just because we don't have much silver and he can just come out with, uh, uh, what's it called? The Covenant of Prayer. Let's put some good enhancements in there just so we can grab them at Storehouse. So we'll get the Old Testament ones, do Outpouring, and... Day of the Lord of David's kind of cool. I like that. Um, do we put not alone in reserve just to keep it safer from Matthew? <laughs> just because Matthew seems good in this format. Probably, but also, like, does it matter? I don't know. Um... Yeah, I think math or I think uh, I think not alone goes in there. Grab that later. All right, that is it. That's the deck. We're done. Uh, let's look at the deck in a way that's 
a little bit more viewer friendly. So we've got three artifacts, a covenant, seven dominance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight evil enhancements. We ended up with eight evil characters, one fortress, and we had what, like seven good enhancements plus philosophy and fire foxes, pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve heroes. Uh, seems pretty good. It's about right for ratios wise, and then seven lost souls. Um, these twelve heroes don't seem like they would go together well, and in very many ways although like look at this banner of love we've got esther we've got claudia that's kind of cool um and both of them work well with uh, king lemuel who can then get back banner royal parade gathered together uh, yeah it's kind of cool there's like there's some hidden synergies in here that i think uh can can come out and uh be, be fleshed out a little bit and do well so I like that, and then we'll look at the reserve here as well, just to see what we got going on. Eh, mostly stuff that's probably not going to come out, but like Lord Goes Before You, Symbols of the Levites can both come out with, uh, with Storehouse and with David's Harp. Uh, work With Your Hands, probably never coming out, but it could with Covenant of Prayer. <laughs> Um, same with Captain of the Host and Nahum, like, Captain, like, there's, there's probably a better Joshua card that I could put in the slot, I'm just not going to worry about it now, uh, Deserving Scorn and Forbidden Marriage, you know, they're both average battle winners with, uh, uh, you know, could work well with Profane Daughters, but, um, yeah, I think that that's good, I like that, um, I did mention the possibility of doing a Lost Soul for, uh, replacing awake and doing uh, doing something with that uh, so that I can put a uh, music leader in here maybe that would work out well but um, yeah I was thinking about a, a Luke lost soul but highwayman just seems better so maybe there's another lost soul that I could sub in for something else and then then get awake out and music leader in uh, there's a decent number of stuff that involves music so I think that that would be good to just be able to recur the stuff and um, yeah, I, I like that idea, but uh, yeah, it wasn't something that I wanted to put too much time into. So this video is already super long, but like I mentioned before, uh, if anybody wants to play a game, oh, sorry, I'm cutting off the, uh, like this right side of the thing. Let's just do this. And is this going to, I probably shouldn't be doing this on the fly, but hey, that actually kind of worked. Okay. Um, so yeah, now you can, now you can kind of see what's, what all is going in here, going on here. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to play a game with the Bible decks, let me know. This is probably what I'll be playing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this was, this was a fun exercise and, and something I've been wanting to do for a little while, kind of just like seeing what's possible, uh, this is gonna be a this this would be a really hard deck to define or to refine and like it's a it's a hard format to kind of figure out just because there are so many options in a lot of these books where you're like oh there's so many good cards in these big books but they you feel like you just gotta find something that fits with what the smaller books allow you to do so uh, that's kind of the the dilemma with this but uh, it was fun I like the challenge and uh yeah, looking forward to trying it out at some point, so hit me up, and uh, with that, we'll catch you all next time.